Welcome back, everybody. My name is Max. I'm with Ideal Satellite Services, ChristianDish.com, and SDADish.com. We want to thank you for all your emails. Continue to subscribe down here and keep watching. Thank you. To assemble this satellite dish, you're going to require a 716 wrench, a crescent if needed, and a Phillips screwdriver. Okay, we're going to proceed by assembling the elevation bracket with the LMB arm. Now, notice that the LMB arm has three holes up here. And on the opposite side, there's a hole on top, right here, and one on the side. This has to go away from the dish. So we're going to take the side with the three holes on it, and we're going to match it onto the elevation bracket. Notice that there is an arrow pointing up. Well, what we want to do is start with the bolt in the mid, the hole in the middle, and the hole on the bottom. And we're going to take the LMB bracket and we're going to match it just like this. Starting with the one in the middle. Just like that. So we'll take one of the carriage bolts, which is an inch and a half. As you can see, it has a flat surface. So we want to take that carriage bolt and poke that through the center hole and on through the LMB arm. Take a carriage nut and thread it on in to that center bolt. Next, take another carriage bolt with the flat head on it, feed it to the front side of the elevation bracket just like that, and take the carriage nut and assemble it so that the elevation bracket looks just like this. Now that we have assembled the uh, elevation bracket and tighten the bolts down, we're going to now attach the mast bracket. Now, notice that the mast bracket has an A uh, on the, uh, stamped onto the bracket itself. You see it? That A is going to actually be located on the top side. See the holes on top there? Those will be located just at the very top. And we're going to take the structural bolt with a hex nut and we're going to put that right through the top just like this. <clears throat> Very good. <clears throat> so we'll just figure tighten that right now. And then we have a window here where that white line slides. When you adjust your satellite dish in North America, we're going to use the A side and this window. So now the next step is to take a half inch carriage bolt, slip it through the back just like this, and slip on the nut. And do the same thing on the other side. Now, there are three bolts that you need to put on here. These carriage bolts are about an inch and a quarter. And you slip those through the back and get some hex nuts installed on here. There's three of these. Always use all three bolts and nuts because it'll give you a firmer grip on the mass pole. Okay, on this next step, we're going to assemble the LMB bracket. You'll take the LMB lower part of the bracket and we'll slip in the LMB facing the same side as the tab. You see that? Okay, then we will now proceed by grabbing the top portion of the bracket with the numbers facing me. I'm going to place it on the top. Then we'll take the small about three quarter inch Phillips screws or bolts and they will slip in the holes on top here just like that and then by while holding the uh, bolts with my fingers I'm going to take the little corresponding nuts that go with that and slip them on the bottom of the bracket just like this 
and then I'll take my Phillips screwdriver and tighten these things down just like this. Okay, another thing that I do is I know about what the distance for my LMB in my, in my area is, is that I'll preset the LMB to the skew measurements that I need. <clears throat> and this area happens to be negative uh, 18. So I've set it to negative 18. That line right there is what you want to use for your mark. So now I'll just snug that down so that I can move it up or down or left and right until I get my quality level as high as I can achieve. The next step will be is to take the inch and a half carriage bolt and a hex knot and we'll take the LMB bracket and we're going to slip it on the tip just like that. You see that? Now, on this hole on top here, we're going to take the inch and a half carriage bolt and we're going to slip that through the top. Kind of have to work it in there. <clears throat> now turn it around so I can see what I'm doing. Now take the carriage bolt and slip it. Slide it on there. Take your quarter inch wrench or your crescent and snug it down. Folks, it needs to be tight, but not so tight where you strip it off or bend the pipe or crack the bracket. This is what it's supposed to look like. Okay, now that we check to make sure that the dish is true, we'll set it on a nice flat surface like a table. Take the elevation bracket and LMB assembly and we'll place that on the dish just like this. Make sure that the writing uh, is on top and we will take the, let's see, half inch by quarter carriage bolts, the short ones, and we'll slip one through the bottom here, just like this. We'll take a uh, nut and proceed to do just that on all four Okay friends, the next step is going to be uh, to install the LMB support arms. You will notice that these guys are labeled. There is a little tab here that says left and the other one says right. We'll take the one that says left and facing the dish, it will be the one that goes on the right side. Don't ask me why they have it like that, but that's how they fit. So we'll take the left one, poke the bolt through that hole there and you'll notice that there's a hole in the LMB arm about uh, five inches from the very top. We'll poke this through just like that. We'll take the other LMB bracket and we will lay it across the other side. Make sure that the tabs are on the right position where they will lay flat on the dish. Use the bolt it also has a Phillips head on top. It's only a half inch long bolt and the knot that corresponds with that. We'll slip that through the holes. Take the knot and slip it around the back. And with your Phillips screwdriver, you can go ahead and start the knot through the back this way. Once we have finished this, we'll go to the other side. I use this 716's torque wrench because when I get to there, it clicks and I'm done. All right, our satellite dish is assembled and ready to be put up on its mass pole. Thank you for joining us.